Yeah, good luck with it. Now, our next guests include a legend of Kilkenny Camogie, Tracy Millay, and two gentlemen who've battled with us before, and just like their counties, they're back for more. Joe Hayes and Fan Larkin. Give them a big round. You're looking great, Tracy. You're a brave woman sitting with these two now, aren't you, for the night? Well, I know these a long time now, <laughs> Des, down through the years, so I'm fairly comfortable beside, beside Fan and yeah. beside Joe. They're true stalwarts of the camogie down through the years. They well, get a soft spot for it. Yeah, and look, I suppose they're rightly so, because you were an incredibly successful team. No wonder they got so used to seeing you around the place. Yeah, look, at probably myself, and I, I have to, when I always talk about camogie myself, I have to include Sinead, because we were the package. We were very, very fortunate in our house that the... The two of us played with Kilkenny for years. Um, you know, we came on the end of the infamous the seven in a row, and um, to play under Anne and Angela Downey, you wouldn't miss many balls. And uh, <laughs> but I always a fan. I actually have to to speak of him so highly because I used to always play corner back, and when we ever had a home game, fan used to always do the scoreboard, and you know, out of the blue, you could hear Trass, stay on the left, <laughs> stay on the right, or whatever. And he used to say, where is this voice coming out of? And you'd look up, and he'd be up in the box, and he'd have the peaked cat hat on him, and he'd always, he was always there. He was a, a true, true supporter of mm. Kilkenny Kamoki, so fair play to you, fan. Yeah, yeah great. Yeah, well, Kilkenny were playing this evening in the All Ireland semi final. I think we're on to a good start, yeah. Kilkenny. Yeah. 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 So, Kilkenny you, Kilkenny, you were watching it. Kilkenny. Yeah, I was watching it, and I have to say, like Tipperary, they were absolutely brilliant today. They're a young team starting out. You know, they're on the back of the minor All Ireland's coming mm. through, and you know, look at Kilkenny. In fairness, um, you know, Tipperary came back. They we let um, them get two last, you know, two goals. Probably when you, we you let them get two goals. They got two goals. <laughs> <laughs> but um, look at we're there in an All Ireland yeah. final, and look at it's like this is what it's all about. Um, you know, Anne Downey will be delighted to be there. Um, obviously, Cork are kind of feeling, you know. I just told Jackie in yeah. the outbreak that Cork were beaten. Sorry, no, Jackie. In case people don't know. I had it recorded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> there I am. Yeah, well, 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 look, I'm more concerned, Joe. Is this a bad start for the weekend that Kenny got the better tip in the camogie? Well, it's not a great start for the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just thinking there, Jackie, your last guest was talking about Google and Larf. I was just thinking, imagine Van Lark and Google and Dad Skeeton. <laughs> Many years ago, and Fan was telling me hurling is changing, and it is changing. It's, it is, for the girls at Tipperary, they'll be devastated. Yeah. But uh, tomorrow is a, a day for the boys, I suppose, and Tipperary and Kilkenny, it's fantastic. As they say, we haven't gone away. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking at you for, well, let, let's chat about that, the, the changes. I mean, so it's how long since you played 40 50 odd years nearly yeah we won't be too we long to remember yeah. <laughs> too long but you know the way now found there's huge backroom teams and the management yeah. teams are huge what was it how many would have well, been the in your manager? we used to have five selectors there was no manager yeah father mar was the trainer they had five selectors from the champions in the county the county champions the runners up chairman of the county board and two lads from the semi-finals and they picked the team and you had Father Mar with the coach. So it changed every year, the selectors changed. Yeah, well, the yeah. chairman had always yes, been there. Yeah. But the dominant team had all, uh, Fenians and the village were the dominant teams in the 70s. But would you, you, did you have, you, like, there was no physios, there was no strength and conditioning coaches or No, there were none of that. I, I strengthened myself working. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, were, I was a plaster we trade. Yeah. And you shove a, lo a load of sand up on the wall every day, you'd be fit enough. <laughs> it's, 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 a, it's a bit different now. Ah, it is, yeah. But if you go look through the team now, there, there's near a building worker on it. I don't know either of There's near a farmer. You know, it's all, you're either a stool teacher now or uh, going to college. <laughs> you know. What about so, in your day, Joe? Was it the same kind of thing or was, was the, the, I suppose, the students starting to fall into it? 
Well, it has changed, you know. I did be watching them now, uh, and uh, the wires at the back of them, and the wire don't fight the noise of batteries or what they have. <laughs> uh, I would have often done with a battery myself when I was all <laughs> uh, me, me tongue hanging out, and I'm looking, I'm looking for water. And it's changed, but you know, uh, see, television has to do with it too, Jackie, you know what I mean? We have, you know what I mean? He's moved on now, and he's all. Do you know, we, there's more talk about Hawkeye and uh, all these things. Uh, 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 do you know, two referees. Yeah. Imagine two referees. What, do you, what two do you think of that? I, uh, absolutely crazy. Uh, you want two Sunday games because you'd have a Sunday game afterwards to analyze what they said in the Sunday game. <laughs> I was thinking of one thing. What I would do, what I would do, I'd give Hawkeye an extra eye and call them Hawkeyes. <laughs> <laughs> Do away with the assessors and everything. And I wish James Owen the very best because, you know, it wasn't a great experience maybe for the families in the semi-final, you know, with social media and everything. I wish James uh, Owen the very best and hopefully that he'll give more frees to Tipperary than he does. <laughs> 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 what do you make of all the changes then, Tracy? Oh, sure, look, it, you know, everything is evolves. Do you know, it's amazing down to the years. I can, you know, like my training ground is Kieran's College, like when we heard with Kilkenny, and now, you know, I see Aaron, um, older son, like Aaron now won two Leinster final medals with Kieran's College this year. And it's amazing when you walk in there, it's just the memories come out. It's, you know, I probably, probably got sick on every blade of grass when I was running around after the Downey Twins or whatever, but it's great, you know, you embrace it. This is what it's all about. You know, if we were to stay stagnant, nothing would move on in life. So you embrace it, you, you move on. Um, look at, I probably, you know, the likes of Limerick, Cork, wouldn't they love to be here tomorrow? And, um, Cork would anyway. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah absolutely, yeah. Jackie. But um, yeah, look at everything changes. Like his fan said, like when, when I played with Kilkenny, like Tom Ryan, the Lord to mercy on him, Tom was a one stop shop. He was manager, trainer, physio, whatever. He had a baby, um, Paddy Powers in his Wellingtons. And I'd say there was Cook and I in it and Puccine. And if one of us went down, he rubbed the leg and he said, on you go, get back in there. And, you and know, it worked. It worked, and there wasn't a bother, and there were great days. And, you know, because, Jackie, as you know, you've been out with me many a time after matches, after the Camogie all Ireland. We have best friends, like, 30, yeah. 40 years. You can't buy that. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm only 25, but yeah. anyway. Yeah. You're <laughs> but you know what? The, the, the game might have changed, but the fundamentals haven't. Have a look at this. When catching the ball, it's important to catch it with your fingers and not in the palm of your hand because if catching with the palm, it tends to bounce off and sometimes you fail to hold it. Also, it is very important to protect your hand with your hurley because another player will, will be pulling on the ball. That's, that's one of the most remarkable men in the game of hurling ever, isn't he, Fan? Now, you, oh, you oh, saw him coming along as a young lad. Well, I, yeah. I played with him for the yeah. best part of 15 years and I see him in the hurling under 14, under 16, minor. Yeah. And so he, he loves it, but he, he'll give, the, there's no detail that he won't go through that to have the team right. Mm -hmm. But he'd do the same thing with an under 14 team that he'd be over. That's, that's how and good he is. Yeah. You know, that's how good he is. But isn't it remarkable he's there so long? Yeah, but you're, when you're winning, why change it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, be, I bet Joe wouldn't mind changing it. Yeah. <laughs> He's some man, Joe, in fairness, isn't he? He's fantastic, sure. Yeah. He's brilliant, and uh, he, he's been there. <laughs> <laughs> he's great. He's a guy I know for years. Uh, yeah. He's great. He's great. And, uh, <laughs> we'll and that. I mean that with all my heart. Like hell, Joe. Joe's only said that now. Is he the greatest of all time, Joe? He's a course. Uh, any man that have won 11 all Ireland, uh, you know. But we leave him at 11. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, do you get nervous as a supporter now ahead of Tip playing tomorrow? I do. I love going to the matches. But, you know, I love going down now. Uh, Tipperary and Kilkenny, they've never been a build-up like this one. Uh, Has it uh, not? No, it's, uh, it's amazing. Tickets are scarce. They're talking about the tickets are, are, are gone too dear. I think they should throw them up another 50. <laughs> <laughs> Not too hard to get. Uh, and if there were 300, maybe we'd have a chance to uh, uh, get a I'd couple of tickets. I'd say you will able to get a few tickets now, Joe. Park, parking tickets, that's all I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's chaos, no, but I tell you now, uh, and I'd have to say it, uh, 
personally myself, well looked after by uh, Timmy Fly, the Tip County Board. He looks after all the horrors, the past horrors, and that's the way it should be. Now, uh, I know one prominent horror, Pat Fox, that was horror of the year, 91, wrote to Crow Park and was refused a ticket, and this is the second year in a row that he's been refused. <laughs> that is true, and it's wrong. Whoever is responsible for it, it's wrong. Pat Fox uh, got man of the match in the All-Ireland in 91, and uh, she told me the cheque was sent back. I don't know whether it was sent back. I don't know whether it was sent back by Crow Park or the bank. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, did you... Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big debate on the price of the tickets. It is an issue, and, but the GA equally need to raise funds, etc. But I remember when you were playing and, and Babs was manager, and he, went, he had a very unusual fundraising venture back then, hadn't he? He had a horse. Uh, <laughs> I don't know when you look back on it now, it was it the phantom horse or what it was, but we, he, he raffled the horse. And, uh, now, it wasn't just a horse, it was a race it, horse, wasn't it? Well, I tell you, at that time, the Torlan and Tip was going so bad, but there was great hope that glory was going to return again to Tipperary, and it wasn't the hurlers that were going to bring it, it was this wonder horse. <laughs> and <laughs> it, it, they raffled it, and some of the Kilkenny lads came up and bought that uh, uh, raffle tickets for it. I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> but you know what the Kilkenny lads, the wise wags below in Kilkenny, do you know what they called it? Oh. Uh, was it a uh, win one soon? <laughs> <laughs> It was supposed to be Chinese bread. Sam, Kilkenny have had this dominance that Joe is clearly struggling with, but, yeah. but in your day, it, was, it well, wasn't... In, in, the fifth, in the 60s now, yeah. Tip was the dominant team. Yeah. Said, Tip beat Kilkenny in 58 in the semi-final, and Wexford beat him in 60. Dublin should have beat him in 61. They won 62, they won 64 and 65. You know, they were very dominant. But then came 67, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Kilkenny. But Kilkenny didn't beat him, beat Tipperary only in 1922. That was the first time Kilkenny beat Tipperary in 67 yeah. since 92. Uh, 1922. Of the, win, the wins you had with Kilkenny, which, which final meant most to you? Well, I'd say, I'd say everyone would say the first one. Mm. Because when you're always hoping to win one, and we beat Waterford in 63, 68 to 417, you know. If you take, if, if going up before the match, you'd say, Waterford scored six scores on Ali Welch, you'd say, you know, you've gone up. Yeah, 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 <laughs> you yeah. know. Yeah. You were only a young fella then. Only a chap, still yeah. am, you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what about tomorrow then, Tracy? What are you expecting? Do you think Kilkenny are going to do it? Oh, look, at, I think, you know, we're all out the back there tonight and everybody's on the fence, aren't they, really? Yeah, no, everybody's afraid, yeah. like, to call because probably in the bigger picture, you know, both teams have kind of stumbled to the All-Ireland, really. I think as a Kilkenny supporter, we really didn't think if you were to say at the start mm. of the year that Kilkenny will be in an All-Ireland final, you'd have said, oh, I don't think so. But, um, no, look, at, I have to say Kilkenny have got here on merit. Obviously, we got over a magnificent Limerick team in the semi-final. Um, I was only talking to our club chairman, Dave O'Neill, the other night, he liked to get a mention, but, um, you know, as I said, how did all your family and friends feel about cancelling their rooms for the All-Ireland final? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, <laughs> um, didn't go down well, but look, at, we're there, and it's going to be very hard to call, but what I love this year about this Kilkenny team, it, it seems to be, it's a whole panel, you know, the subs are an integral part of tomorrow as well. Richie, um, Richie Lahey, Billy Ryan, our own club player from Greg Valley Callan, like they've all come in this year and they've all made an impact and look at I'm sure Tipperary are the, are the same, you know. Yeah, because there was one element, I th after the Leinster final yeah. when, when Wexford beat Kilkenny, did you honestly see Kilkenny get into the All-Ireland? Well, the, the point about it is we were betting the Leinster final, but what you'd never see Kilkenny <laughs> doing, they were lobbing the ball in looking for a goal yeah. with about six minutes to go. That's right, they normally, be, normally they'd be hitting them over the ball and they'd catch on the run in. But in our day, it was the Leinster champions and the Munster champions met in the final. Yeah. But now with the backdoor system and the round robin. Do you like that system? No. Personally, I don't. Why? You think it's <laughs> knock out when you're knocked out? Knock out and you're out. I mean, if we played Wexford in the 70s, yeah. and Wexford had a great team. Tony Doran. And yeah, all them yeah. Like. But if we had to meet them a second time, you might meet them. Joe, do you, do you like that round robin? Do I, right? I think fans should like it, because <laughs> Kilkenny after being beaten twice this year, and you're still in there. <laughs> You 
should be thanking the Lord the round robin came in. We're only beaten once. But, uh, but we were better, all right, but the Nero Munster team better. And I'll tell you, before oh. the year... <laughs> and before the year will be out, you're going to be beaten three times. <laughs> Nero Munster team better, Joe. Galway better than... Wexford. Yeah. The Nero Munster team yeah. better. You bet your bet, it doesn't matter by who, <laughs> fan. <laughs> He has, he has a point, like Lim Limerick, who got the better at Tip Joe, Kilkenny got the better at Limerick. Uh, look, uh, we had a small setback again, uh, uh, <laughs> against Limerick. As they, say in racing as they say in racing terms, you're talking about, I think we weren't off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's great having you here tonight. You're, you've yeah. been very much a part of it, and it's great to have three people who've played such a role in the past on the weekend of it, isn't it, Jackie? Yeah. Really. So give it up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Joe Hayes. Hey. 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 I want to say hello to my, my two youngest grandchildren, the yes. least people. So your, your youngest grandchildren? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Anna and Daniel, they're from Leash, that's all. And what a year Leash had as well. Yeah, they played well as well. They so sure did. Des under the guidemanship of Eddie Brennan, of Greg oh, Valley Callan, yeah. may I add. <laughs> Joe, jo, are you going to let them ramble on like this? I would like to spit. <laughs> Be best wishes to Jim Ryan of Finner. He's right on the border. He, he was with me here the last time, I, and, and he's not too well. And also one more man that there was plenty of abuse given to online, and that's our former teacher, Brian Cowan, who was very ill. And uh, I'm not interested in politics, but uh, he got a lot of abuse. And he's a real GA man, and we're full of GA people here, and we should give him a round of applause. <laughs> and <get there. laughs>